Hi, my name is Grace King. I'm a product manager at Gretel. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Gretel connectors and workflows to integrate synthetic data directly into your data pipeline. To begin, I'm going to create a new workflow. Now I'm going to choose which Gretel model to use. For this demonstration, I'm going to use our Transform V2 model, which will automatically detect and redact PII, or Personal Identifiable Information, from any data set. Next, I'm going to define my input data. I can extract input data from one of our many data connectors. Today, I'm going to define my input data from my Oracle Telecom database. This database has five tables that are related to each other via primary and foreign keys. I can choose to pull my input data from the entire database, from selected tables, or using a SQL query. Today, I'm going to use a SQL query to extract information about the client's location and their account status. To give you a visual of what our training data looks like, I'll run that exact same SQL query in Oracle and we can take a look. So the data I'm extracting contains account and client IDs, names, addresses, and the status of the account holders. Now that I've defined my input data, I'm going to choose where to store my output data. I can choose to keep it in the Gretel Cloud or I can connect to an external data source. I'm going to write my transformed data to a Google Cloud Storage bucket. One thing that I really love about Gretel workflows is that it allows you to automate the generation of synthetic data. You can choose to run the workflow manually, or you can set a schedule to run on a daily, weekly, monthly, or an even more custom basis. This means that your synthetic data is always where you need it, when you need it. For today's demo, I'm going to run our workflow manually, but I can always edit it later to set a schedule. The Gretel console has automatically generated my workflow config, which is a YAML file. Users also have the option to edit the generated config or write their own more complex config, depending on their technical abilities and comfort level. Now I'm going to run our workflow. Workflows are comprised of a set of actions. This workflow has an Oracle read action. Then we will have a model train run action, and then a GCS write action that will write our generated data back to our GCS bucket. You can track the progress of each action by looking at the logs. Our Oracle read action has already completed, which means that it has queried the database and extracted the data that we asked for. The great thing about Transforms V2 is that it's super fast. I'll pause here and be back in a minute when the workflow completes. Now that our workflow is complete, it's written our output data to the GCS bucket. So let's switch over and take a look. Here I have my GCS bucket called Telecom Output, which I pointed the workflow to. It's created a folder called Gretel. And inside that folder, 
we have the transformed account status by client and location file. I've opened that file in Google Sheets so that we can take a look. Here we have our initial training data that again contained some IDs, first name, last name, address, and VIP status. This transformed version of the data has replaced all of the PII, the names and the addresses, with fake values while maintaining the VIP status and account IDs. Another great thing about Gretel workflows is that it makes it easy to chain multiple models together to fit whatever your use case may be. In this second workflow, I extracted my data from Oracle, transformed and then synthesized it before writing the output to GCS. With this use case, I wanted to see what it would be like to have twice the amount of accounts in my telecommunications organization. And so I synthesized my transformed data to create a data set twice as large. Gretel connectors and workflows make it easy to leverage the power of synthetic data and automate it directly into your data pipeline.